during the regular class, same scoring directions, you have a 3, 1, 8, 1, and 2 for your lottery numbers. Uh, what we have here is a review. We are going to review solving equations by what? By square roots, that's right. And you'll get the same uh, question strategy as we do in the regular class, except you won't have your name on the sticks. I can't go through and sort them out through 85 sticks, so I have all your names on paper. All right, here is the first example. You have to tell me what to do. And this problem, once we zoom in on the paper, is negative 3x squared plus 22 equals negative 2x squared plus 71. All right, what is the first thing that I am going to do, Johnson? Um, you're going to put the x values on the same side. X values on the same side, so she is right. And when I put my x values on the same side, I already have this on the left. What am I going to write right beside it, Blevins D? Plus 2x squared is right. On the right-hand side, I have a 71, but what am I going to write beside that, Clark? Uh, minus 22. Minus 22 is right. On the left-hand side, I have negative 3x squared plus 2x squared. What is that going to simplify to, Webb? Negative x squared. Negative x squared is right. And on the right-hand side, 71 minus 22 is going to simplify to what, Deerfield? 49. 49 is right. What must I now do to both sides, Bailey? You have to define the No. We will go to the next one, and that will be Perry. What do I have to do to both sides? Pass. He'll pass, and what do I do to both sides, Salyers? Um, you got to uh, divide the square root. Not the square root. Uh, what do we do to both sides, Johnson? You divide it by both sides by negative one. Yes, you divide both sides by the negative one that is present next to the x squared. If you see a negative sign against the x squared, that means it's multiplied by a negative one. And if I divide the left-hand side by negative one, what am I left with, Blevins D? Uh, X. You're left with X, yes. And if I divide the right side by a negative 1, what am I left with, Clark? Negative 49. A negative 49, right. What must I do to both sides now, Webb? Uh, yes, we've got to find the square root of both sides. And when I find the square root of x squared, what is that going to be, Deerfield? Wait, the um, square, oh, square. Oh, my bad. I was saying point. Okay. Um, It'll be x, that's right. And what is the square root of a negative 49 Bailey? No solution. no solution, that's right. It would be no real solution. So it does make a difference because if you have the square root of a negative number, it comes out to be imaginary, which is an i, and we have not done that yet. That is uh, algebra 2. Yes? Any of those children show up yet? I haven't seen a one of them. Okay, we're still on the lookout. I appreciate it. Yeah. Here's another example. And this one, after we zoom in, is going to be 5x squared plus 16 equals x squared plus 80. What is the first thing that I must do to solve this equation, Perry? Uh, you must take uh, x squared and convert it over to the left side. That's right. And what does it become? It becomes a negative x squared. Yeah, minus x squared. And on the right side, I have an 80. What am I going to write beside that 80, Salyers? Um, it'd be minus 16. Minus 16 is right. When I simplify the left-hand side, what is 5x squared minus x squared, Johnson? Um, 4x squared. 
4x squared is right. And when I simplify the right side, 80 minus 16, what is that, Blevins D? 64. What do I do next to both sides, Clark? Divide by 4. If I divide the left-hand side by 4, what am I left with, Webb? Uh, X, squared. X squared. If I divide the right side by 4, what am I left with, Deerfield? 16, 16 is right. What must I do to both sides now, Bailey? Find the square root. Find the square root, yes. So we'll just put it in right here. And what is the square root of X squared, Perry? Uh, wait, what is it? What oh, is it? X. X is right. And what is the square root of 16 Salyers? Oh, hang on. It is not 4. What's the square root of 16 Johnson? Oh, Johnson, what? Plus or, minus. Plus or minus 4, yes. And this is your solution. I was technically right. Technically, you were wrong. No, because 4 times. 4 is indeed 16, but negative 4 times negative 4 is also positive 16. So that's why it must be plus or minus 4 as the square root of 16. <laughs> practice problem. Here is the practice problem. Bring this up once you find the solution. The problem is a negative x squared minus 9 equals a negative 2x squared plus 16. There's no need to go through this problem and review it, review it I should say, uh, because everybody had plus or minus 5. The bonus problem is something a little different. We'll make this A equals 2, B equals 3, C equals 6. A times the quantity squared of B minus 6 plus C times the quantity squared of A plus 4. For the bonus problem, you have, first of all, b minus 6, which is really 3 minus 6. That's a negative 3, and you have to square that and multiply it by 2. c is 6, and a plus 4 is 2 plus 4, which is 6, and you have to square that. You will get 2 times 9 plus 6 times 36, and after we answer the door. So, to finish off this bonus problem, we should have 18... And then plus 2, 16. 18 plus 2, 16 is going to be 2, 34. This is like the extra credit. Let's see if you can come up with an answer that is close or right on. The problem is 3x squared plus 17 equals x squared plus 5. Alright, for this problem you should have 3x squared minus x squared equals 5 minus 17. That's 2x squared equals a negative 12. Divide the negative 12 by 2 to get x squared equals negative 6. When you do the square root of both sides, x ends up being no real solution. This one is also like the extra credit for tonight. The problem is 4x squared plus 13 equals x squared plus 50. You should have 4x squared minus x squared equals 50 minus 13. 4x squared minus x squared is 3x squared and 50 minus 13 is going to be 37. You have to divide 37 by 3. And when you divide 37 by 3, 12.3 repeating, you come up with 12.3 repeating? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so if you had 12.3 repeating, then you must find the square root of both sides. And the square root of 12.3 repeating is going to be 3.5. It should be plus or minus 3.5. The bonus problem is A equals 1, B equals negative 2, C equals 4. 
a plus the quantity of a plus c times the quantity squared of 3 plus c minus a closed quantity. The bonus answer should be 197.